I want to invite you to download our free app and find out for yourself why personal trainers are loving it. You can download it at the App Store or on Google Play. There are 365 workouts on this app, so that's one workout for every day of the year. Welcome to Angela's Upper Body Workout with a Weighted Bar. You're gonna elevate your game to a whole new level with this super sculpting body bar workout. You'll need a four to 10 pound weighted bar or a set of two to five pound dumbbells. We're gonna target your upper body. We'll be doing 15 reps on all the moves in this circuit. However, feel free to stop whenever you like. Get your mat and water and let's get started. We're gonna start with a frontal raise on your knees. Grip the bar wider than shoulder width with your palms facing back. Get on your knees with your feet together behind you. If your knees are sensitive, place a towel underneath them. One, two, three, begin. Tighten your abs and swing the bar over your head. Pause momentarily. Inhale and tighten your abs. Exhale and lower the bar. Keep your back and arms straight throughout the exercise. You're working your abs, your core, your arms, and your shoulders. To make this exercise more challenging, pause when your arms are parallel to the ground, then raise the bar above your head. You can make it even more challenging by pausing at the same spot when you're lowering the weight. Always push your hardest. The harder you push, the better you get. Next, we're gonna do a pelvic thrust with an overhead pull. Start by getting on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground, hip width apart. Hold the bar slightly wider than shoulder width on your chest. Inhale, tense up your abs and thrust your pelvis up. At the same time, press the bar above and over your head. Pause for a second, then return to the starting position. One, two, three, begin. For better results, squeeze your glutes on top. To make this exercise more challenging, pause before your hips touch the ground. To make it even more challenging, Alternate lifting one leg off the ground throughout the exercise. This move works your glutes, core, arms, and shoulders. The best project you could ever work on is you. Your dream body is just a few reps away. Now we're gonna do curls on your knees. Let's get back down on our knees for this exercise. Keep your feet together behind you. Grip the bar wider than shoulder width apart with your palms facing forward. Inhale and tense up your abs. Then curl the bar up to your chest. One, two, three, begin. Exhale and lower the bar with total control. Make sure your wrists aren't bent during this exercise and that you're holding the bar with a tight grip. To make it more challenging, do it slowly or pause for two seconds on top. You're working your abs, core, and biceps.
Never stop fighting for your dreams. No matter what time it is, it's too early to quit. Now we're gonna do a V shoulder press with your feet on the ground. Sit in a V position with your legs shoulder width apart and your toes off the ground, pointing at 45 degrees. Hold the bar on your chest at shoulder width with your palms facing forward. One, two, three, Begin. With your back straight and your abs tight, inhale. Then press the bar straight up above your head. Pause for a second, then slowly return to the starting position. To make this exercise more challenging, do it slowly and fight the weight on the way down. You're working your abs, core, arms, and shoulders. Be proud, but never satisfied. Now we're gonna do an overhead extension on your knees. Get back on your knees with your feet together behind you. Hold the bar behind your head with your elbows bent. Your hands should be about six to eight inches apart. One, two, Three, begin. Inhale, contract your abs and extend your arms above your head. Pause for a second, then slowly return to the starting position. Keep your back straight throughout the exercise. To make it more challenging, hold the bar with your hands closer together and do the exercise slower. Here you're working your triceps. Don't be ordinary, be extraordinary. Now we're gonna do a reverse crunch with the bar behind your knees. Lie on your back with your arms at your sides, your palms facing down, and your feet together. Place the bar behind your knees. Squeeze your calves against your hamstrings. Inhale, bend your knees towards your chest. Exhale and slowly return to the starting position. One, Two, three, begin. Don't use your arms to help lift yourself off the ground. Your abs should be doing all the work here. To make this exercise more challenging, pause before your feet hit the ground. You're working your abs and your core. People don't just find strength and willpower, they create it. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. Work hard, good results will come. Next, we're gonna do a twist on your knees. We're getting back on the knees for this one. Keep your feet together behind you and hold the bar about six inches above your belly button. Your arms should be shoulder width apart with your palms facing up. Twist from side to side using your trunk. One, two, three, begin. 15 reps on each side. Keep your abs tight and your back straight throughout this exercise. To make this move more challenging, do a double twist on each side. You're working your abs, core, arms, and obliques.
Today it hurts. Tomorrow it works. Your body hears everything your mind says. Now we're gonna do a shoulder press on your knees. Remain on your knees with your feet together behind you. Rest the bar on your shoulders with your hands wider than shoulder width and your palms facing forward. Tighten your abs, inhale, and press the bar straight up above your head. Pause for a second, then slowly return to the starting position. One, two, three, begin. Make sure you keep your back straight and don't bend your neck. To make it more challenging, do the exercise slowly and pause for a second or two on top. You're working your abs, core, and shoulders. Control your mind, conquer your body. Lastly, we're gonna do sit-ups to twist. Lie on your back with your legs hip width apart and your feet flat on the ground. Hold the bar above your chest in front of you with your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart and your palms facing up. Inhale, do a full sit-up and at the same time, Rotate from the waist to one side. Exhale and slowly return to the starting position. One, two, three, begin. Alternate rotating sides. You have the option of keeping your feet flat on the ground or pointing your toes up to work on your shins. To make this exercise more challenging, do a double twist on each side. You're working your abs, core, obliques, and arms. Life has no remote. Get up and change it yourself. Take a short break before we start circuit number two and hydrate yourself. You did a great job. Congratulations on reaching the second circuit. Challenge yourself this round and lift a little heavier. If you're hungry, eat a bar or drink a protein shake along the way to give you a nice steady amount of energy. Okay, let's get pumped to do some good. Here we go. To start, get on your knees and hold the bar in front of you. You're gonna do a frontal raise while on your knees. Hold the bar with your arms locked straight. Keep your posture neutral throughout the exercise. Breathe out and lift the bar up as high as you can. Be sure to keep your arms straight and lift the bar up and down with the same steady pace. Looking good. Keep it up and focus on your shoulder muscles moving the bar up and down. You're working your shoulders, arms, and core muscles. This exercise will chisel your shoulders and make them broad and defined. 
Excellent work, you're doing great. Just a few more. Avoid going too fast or lifting too heavy because your body will swing backward and forward to compensate. For this next exercise, go ahead and lie down on the mat facing up. Bend your knees about 90 degrees and have the bar on your chest. Breathe out and thrust your pelvic up as high as you can. Focus on squeezing your glutes. At the same time, push the bar up and over your head. It's always best to contract your muscles at the same time when you're doing multiple movements. Looking good. Keep it up and remember to tense up all your muscles throughout your routine. Avoid not touching your glutes to the ground when coming down. You want to lightly touch the ground with your glutes so that you maximize your full range of muscle contractions. Well done. Your toned arms and shoulders will complement your shapely derriere. Great job. Way to burn that butt. Work harder, get stronger. Excellent job, you're doing really well. Let's get you back up on your knees again. Now you're gonna do some curls. Keep your arms slightly slanted away from your body. Keep your shoulders back, breathe out, and curl the bar up to your shoulders. Avoid curling up too high that your elbows move forward. You're doing a great job, keep it up. Focus on your biceps on the concentric up and eccentric down. Your biceps will be tight and strong. Keep a steady rhythm and maintain your perfect posture to achieve great results. Well done. Keep up the great work ethic and push on. Three down and you're barely breaking a sweat. Let's pick it up a notch and get a little core action going on in the next set. Okay, sit down on the mat, keep your posture neutral and lean back a little. This will engage your core and challenge your perfect posture, so keep your abs tight. Now, do a shoulder press while in a V formation. Breathe out as you press up and press up as high as you can. Great job. Doing this will engage your core, shoulders, and tricep muscles. Your great shoulders and arms will go hand in hand with your sexy abs. Keep it up. Try your best not to give in and round your back. That's it, you got it. Push it through. Amazing job. Let's focus on your triceps next. Now let's blast your arms by doing overhead extension. Get on your knees and bring the bar up above your head. Keep your elbows in the same place throughout the exercise. Bring the bar down behind your head as low as you can. Breathe out and extend your arms up. Keep your posture upright always. Focusing on contracting the back of your arms will give you really cut and tight triceps. Avoid not lowering the bar deep enough behind your head, and also avoid moving your elbows in any direction. Nicely done. Shake it off and let's hit the abs strong. Here we go, time for some core power. Go ahead and lie down on your mat and place the bar behind your knees. Let's do some reverse crunches with the bar behind your knees. Place your hands by your sides, but have your palms facing up. Then, breathe out as you pull your knees up as high as you can to your chest. That looks really good. Focus on keeping your abs tight on the reverse crunch up and on the way back down to the ground. You're doing a fantastic job, keep it up. You're now at the seventh exercise of circuit number two, where we're gonna do a twist while on your knees. Hold the bar at 90 degrees at your elbows. Twist to each side as far as you comfortably can. Go at a steady pace to keep your balance and breathe out with each turn. Keep your posture upright all throughout the twisting. Your sexy lean abs are just a few twists away. 
keep it going. Avoid twisting too fast that you lose your balance. Shred those abs. Let's see those rock hard abs at work. You're doing great. The harder it is, the stronger you become. Now let's do some shoulder presses. Keep your posture perfect all the time. Make sure your abs and glutes are tight while performing these reps. Breathe out when you press upward. Don't hit your head or your spine on the way down. And make sure to bring your elbows down by your sides and not have them extended outward. If bringing the bar behind your head is difficult on your shoulders, then you can bring it down to your chest, but be careful not to hit your face. You're doing an amazing job with all of this, just a little bit more. Push it strong past the finish line. Well done. Let's wrap it up with some combo abs. Get ready for sit-ups to twist. Keep your legs bent about 90 degrees. Always bring the bar down toward your chest. Staying in total control, twist up as far as you can to each side. Breathe out on the way up and twist your body and head as one unit. Keep your abs tight on both the way up and down. This exercise will culminate all your hard work and bring everything together to make you look and feel so strong and fit. This is the very last exercise, so push it. Give it all you got. Feel the burn. Your body is a reflection of your lifestyle. You did it. Congratulations on conquering circuit number two. Now rest and stretch. You have earned it.